When group members are located close together, they often use a team room as a focus and a place to leave their shared work. People can come into the team room and do some individual work. When other collaborators come into the room, they can begin to work together. Groups can use these shared spaces in many ways, for meetings, for individual work, to collect documents for the group's projects, or to leave things for other group members. In contrast, most groupware systems today, such as video conferencing tools or shared whiteboards, work on a metaphor similar to the telephone. Users begin their applications, interact with the tool, and finally they hang up. In future conversations, restoring previous work context is heavyweight. We decided to create Team Rooms, an electronic equivalent of a set of rooms and tools that can be shared by groups over a long period of time. Unlike physical Team Rooms that require all group members to be physically co-located, our goal when developing the Team Rooms groupware system was to use the internet to provide the same benefit of physical shared spaces to today's distributed teams and telecommuters who are spread out over a distance. This video gives a tour of Team Rooms. We'll begin by entering my Team Rooms community. When I start Team Rooms, I connect to an internet server holding the rooms belonging to my community. I then log on to the system for both identification and security reasons. Three windows appear. My startup room here, and two others that tell me about my community. This window here tells me what other people are currently logged onto Team Rooms and what rooms they are in. If I click on one of them, a business card telling me something about them and how they can be reached by telephone appears. The other window shows me all the rooms in my community. Each room has a name and says who is in the room, if anyone. For example, we see that I'm in the project planning room, while Saul is in the tour of team rooms room. It also has a door icon. If the door is wide open, that tells me I can go into the room at any time I want. If it's barred shut, its owner is asking me to stay out. I'll leave my room and enter the tour of team rooms room that Saul is in. Now that I'm in this room, I can still see that Saul is in it by the pictorial list that shows me who's around. In this case, Saul is using a video camera, so what I see are actually video snapshots of him updated every few seconds. I also get a sense of awareness of what Saul is doing. I can see by this idle indicator that it's been only a few moments since Saul has moved his cursor. This radar overview here shows me a miniature of the entire room. I can only see part of it on my screen and indicates what Saul can see by this box, as well as where his telepointer is and how things are moving within the room. If Saul and I are looking in the same part of the room, we will be able to see each other's actions immediately. Because Team Rooms is designed to work over slow speed connections as well as fast ones, every room supplies a chat box. In this case, I'll just phone him up by getting his number from the business card. Hi, Saul. Want to help show this tour? Sure, Mark. Okay, shall we just show off the whiteboard and all the applets then? That's a good idea. Let's do that. All righty. The background wall of the room acts as a shared whiteboard. We can both sketch at the same time okay, Mark. using any of the different colored pens. We can also add text, as Saul is doing, which can then be moved around. See this? As with many electronic whiteboards, we can see each other's telepointers, which helps in seeing what the other is doing and lets us gesture to the objects in the room. I can also add any number of special purpose group or applets to the room. Here, I'll create a simple notepad applet. I can add text to it. I can also move it around. 
See me typing? And resize it. I'll now scroll over to another part of the same room to show a few more of the standard applets supplied in team rooms. This concept map applet provides a way to organize and relate a set of ideas. Here, Saul is adding a new node to the map. It's done. Of course, any member of our community can enter this room at any time and add ideas to it because this applet always remains in the room until someone explicitly deletes it. This customizable database applet lets you store various kinds of information. Here you see we've used it to create a community address book. I'm adding my phone number. OK, Mark? I can also place other documents in the room. With this tool, I can upload an arbitrary file into the room, and anyone can later download it to their own machine. This lets me pass around any document not created in team rooms. I got it. With this applet, I can leave a pointer to a document, in this case as a URL, that other people can see if they wish. They can choose to load the page either directly into Team Rooms or view it with an external browser, as we've done here with Netscape. We should also mention that all changes to the room are immediately visible to everyone else in the room. Users can do whatever they want in a room. They can be working in different corners, in the same part, and even within the same applet. Concurrency control policies depend on the individual applet. There are many more applets in Team Rooms. Because Team Rooms is devised from GroupKit, our groupware toolkit, applets are quick to build and new ones can be created with only modest effort by third party developers. I'm now going to switch to my personal room and show how group memory works. We've already seen that everything in a room persists over time, even when people log out and when the server goes down. Team Rooms also keeps older versions as well. For example, I can retrieve an old version of this applet, or even old versions of the entire room to compare against the current one. This can provide useful historical information about how a group arrived at particular decisions or outcomes, as well as a crude undo facility. Team Rooms runs on Unix, Macintosh, and Windows 95 platforms. To download Team Rooms or for more information, see our worldwide webpage.